क्वेश्चन नंबर एट अ कर्व हैज इक्वेशन दिस पार्ट ए शो दैट डी वाई बाई डी एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म विद ए बी सी आर इंटीजर्स ओके लेट मी फाइंड आउट द डेरेवेटिव सो डी वाई ओवर डी एक्स अप्लाइंग द क्वेश्चन रूल ओवर हेयर राइट सो फॉर अप्लाइंग द क्वेश्चन रूल वी कैन से द डिनोमिनेटर फंक्शन इट स्क्वेयर विच इज x plus four whole square, the denominator function, and the derivative of the numerator function, which is three x square minus five. Its power is one by three. Its derivative minus the numerator function, and the derivative of the denominator function d by dx of x plus four. x plus four derivative is just one, and here we are applying the power rule. So dy over dx. This is x plus four, and the power rule is applying the power. The base is three x square minus five, and power minus one, and the derivative of base function is two times three would be six and x, and minus three x square minus five and one by three, right? And its derivative is just one. Uh, x plus four derivative is one. All right. This whole thing is divided by. We can say, x plus four whole square. Right. Now we can cancel three times one is three. Three times two would be six. So dy over dx. And this is gonna be, x plus four, and three x square minus five. And one by three minus one, one by three minus one. This is minus two by three, minus two by three, and we have some x, and minus three x square minus five. Its power is one by three. This whole divides x plus four whole square. Right. Now we have the odd uh, negative power, so we have to shift it into the denominator. So dy over dx, this is x into x plus four divides three x square minus five. Its whole power is two by three. The power is going to be even when it is shifted into the denominator. This is negative three x square minus five. Its whole power is one by three, and this whole term is going to divide by x plus four whole square. Okay, let me simplify this further. Now dy over dx. This is gonna be x square plus four x minus three x square minus five power one by three is multiplying by three x square minus five. Its power is two by three. Right. And in the denominator, we have uh, we have three x square minus five. Its power is two by three, and x plus four. Its power is two. All right. For the simplification, x square minus four x. So the bases are same. We can add the powers. One by three plus two by three is three by three, which is just one. So minus three x square minus five. Its whole power is just one. And the denominator function stays the same, which is three x square minus five exponent two by three and x plus four exponent is two. This is dy over dx. Okay, now in the next step, let me open the bracket. We have a negative sign outside, so this is x square minus four x minus three x square plus five. And in the division, we have three x square minus five. It's two by three, and x plus four. Its power is two. One more step. We have dy over dx. This is gonna be. We have x square and minus three x square. 
sorry there is a mistake we have 3 times 2 is 6 this is 2x sorry not just x it is 2x so when I am multiplying this this is 2x squared and 2 times 4 would be 8x 2 and 8 so this is 2 and this is 8 okay so 2x square minus 3x square is just minus x square minus 8x and plus 5 and the denominator stays the same which is 3x1 and 2 minus 5 whole exponent is 2 by 3 and x plus 4 exponent is 2 so now you can see the derivative is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c over this a b c should be an integer minus 1 minus 8 and 5 these are the integers now for part b hence find the x coordinates of the stationary points on the curve give your answers in their simplest exact form for stationary point we have to put dy over dx equals to zero right we have done the derivative we have dy over dx which is equals to minus x square and plus 8x and plus 5 plus 8x plus 5 over 3x square minus 5 its power is 2 by 3 and x plus 4 whole square we have to put this equals to 0 so cross multiplication the denominator is multiplying by 0 that is just 0 so minus x square plus 8x plus 5 this is equals to 0 we are just working on the x coordinates of the stationary points right so this that is a quadratic equation let me apply the quadratic formula and simplify so x is going to be negative of the b value plus minus square root b square minus 4 times a times c this is going to divide by 2 times of a and the square root right so for the simplification we have 4 times 1 times 5 this is 20 and plus 8 square would be 64 so root uh, x is equals to and square root of 84 is 2 root 21 minus 8 plus minus 2 root of 21 divides minus 2 right now for further simplification so x is equals to negative 8 over negative of 2 2 times 4 is 8 so 4 we have plus minus 2 is cancelled with 2 and root of 21 so these are the x coordinates of the stationary points on the curve 4 plus root 21 and 4 minus root 21